Active Lives report from Sport England. Now, most people who have had COVID-19 are protected from becoming ill again for at least five months, but they may still carry and transmit the virus. That's according to research carried out by Public Health England that has yet to be peer-reviewed. PHE says past infection gives individuals 83% immunity compared with those who have not had coronavirus. Uh, well, joining me now is Dr. Sarah Pitt, a virologist at the University of Brighton and a fellow of the Institute of Biomedical Science. Dr. Pitt, good to have you with us. So that that's interesting, that uh, immunity for a period of approximately five months. Is that similar uh, to other coronavirus infections or other infections that we know a lot about? Yes. So it is similar to what we've seen from other coronaviruses, for example, SARS-1 and MERS and common cold viruses, that um, some people don't develop antibody at all um, and that some people most people do develop antibody and that some of them do lose it after a period of time. So what we've seen is that <clears throat> most of the people who were known to have had antibody in this study um, stayed, kept their antibody and also stopped. Um, they didn't get a reinfection, but some, but some of them did. Um, and, but also the other thing is to note is that with the studies for, for example, with SARS-1 and MERS, we're following people up for a bit of a longer time. And we, we would, I would expect that some of the people would have lost their immunity um, if you followed them up in uh, six months later, which the study is going to do, is going to keep following people up. I would expect that a few more might have lost their, their antibody in that mm. time. Uh, a question I have for you, and it's based on questions that viewers have sent in in, in previous months in relation to this virus. If mm. you've had more severe symptoms, does it mean, therefore, that you are more likely to have this, say, at least five months immunity afterwards compared to someone who's had pretty mild symptoms? Yes. I mean, we do know that for all virus infections in general and uh, well, most virus infections in general and for this one as well, that the more um, severe your symptoms are, the more likely you are to have developed an, uh, an active immune response because actually some of the symptoms that people are, ex are experiencing are because the body is reacting to the virus. So if you don't have symptoms, it's almost like your body's not reacted in and um, effectively and so we see that with all sorts of virus infections and so yes that that's absolutely right that you're more not it's not 100 percent guaranteed but you are more likely to develop a strong immune response if you had severe symptoms and the big red flag over all of this which we mentioned in the introduction is to really hammer home the point that uh, even if someone is protected, they've had COVID and they do have a level of immunity, they can still carry and transmit the virus. So what's your message to people who are in that position who think, well, I was pretty ill, I'm probably immune right now, um, I I'm going to go and do A, B or C? What would you say to them? It's really clear, and I've said this all along, that you are not protected from reinfection. And this study actually does show that. Although it was only a small number of people, they had um, six, just over 6,000 healthcare workers who developed antibody that, that could be detected in laboratory tests. 44 of those um, were found to have uh, COVID-19 virus, uh, the SARS-CoV-2 virus in samples to, to follow, as they were being followed up. And But only a small proportion of those actually had any symptoms, but they did have virus that could have been transmitted to other people. So just because you've had it, doesn't mean to say you can't get it again and it doesn't mean to say that you can't transmit it to other people either so people everybody should still unfortunately keep on with the wearing the mask if you can keeping your social distances and just taking extreme care and proceeding with extreme caution we are at a very dangerous time in the pandemic at the moment and we do all need to look after ourselves but mostly we need to look after each other as well so just because you've had it do think of do think of others and also you wouldn't if you've had it once you probably definitely don't want to have it again because it's a very nasty disease so you want to protect yourself as well dr pitt um really interesting to talk to you thank you very much dr sarah pitt a virologist there at the university of brighton